Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. But it's, it's the end of the uh, the deal, more or less. Uh, the dinner's coming up, and we're going to pass out uh, the graduation certificates. The uh, um, this is more or less um, what you'll get used to. Um, for those of you that, uh, well, none of you are used to this uh, too much now. I know, realize some of you, I can tell that those are either rented or new tuxedos, but that's fine. Uh, the, um, I think you look better not in the kilts. Um, and we pay for the kilts when you come to the radio seminar, but um, it's, it's been a ride. And uh, not just because we've heard four or five stories, not just within the group, but um, from the webinars. And uh, nobody said it was easy, yeah, that it's not. But it's well worthwhile. I, I remember uh, standing right about here with my shoulder on my dad, and he looks up at the chandelier. He says, just tell me it's not drugs. And I said, Dad, it's kind of, it's oil and gas. And uh, the, uh, he never really appreciated what I did. He appreciated what, the results of what I did, but he didn't understand. He didn't understand other than Robin Banks or something like that, how you could accumulate this. Some of you don't understand how I accumulated this yet. Um, the, the faster and the sooner you do, the better off you'll be uh, because uh, this is easy to get used to. Um, that's probably an understatement. I told you that um, the gals get used to it a bit quicker than we do. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the gals get quicker, and uh, uh, as they deserve it, because they put up with a lot of shit. Uh, not in my case, of course, but in your case, they put up with a lot of shit. And um, the world is a, a fucking oyster. We're approaching Christmas, and uh, every day can be uh, a Christmas or a holiday or, uh, you know, uh, a holy day of some sort, because we put ourselves in a position of, uh, of uh, pulling the trigger, taking action. Everybody that uh, you've heard in the differentiation between the people that have done little or nothing and the people that have done quite a bit um, are is one thing, it's taking action. You heard um, uh, Anelli when he was asked, uh, what's a competition? And he went like this and he thought about it a while and then he kind of answered, not that question, and then he said, there is no competition, because there isn't. When you get out there, whether you're Australia or you're uh, the African continent, or South America, or uh, you know uh, Mexico, or uh, Canada, uh, or the United States, or wherever, in the Netherlands, Germany, um, there's no competition. There's literally nobody uh, doing this. Uh, and the, the, the more you do, uh, the more you'll realize how there's no competition. The, uh, I said for like eight or nine years that they use the lowest interest rates in 5,000 years. Well, now they're the only lowest interest rates in 3,500 years. But um, unless interest rates double from here, it'll be the first time that there's a constraint on the model. Not a constraint on doing the model, but a constraint on finding uh, motivated sellers that realize that their, the price of their assets have gone down. Uh, the thing that you guys lack the most is when you're not nudging or pushing these guys is your assets are fucking worth less than a year ago. A lot of them <clears throat> know, but may not say, well, I should have sold before Corona. No, the real thing is they should have sold before the motherfucking interest rates went up. Corona had little or nothing to do with it because you've seen that at all, but most of the businesses have bounced back. But they can't bounce back in vis a vis valuation with um, interest rates going up. Now, uh, we're good until about uh, 15%. And then you'll, you'll, you'll figure out whether you're a man or a mouse. Um, the, um, because that's about where the, the, the level is. And I think that, uh, I don't think I'm pretty positive that the interest rates are going to double from here. Uh, we're using now in our factoring or in our algorithms, uh, instead of 5% interest, which we use for years and years and years and years, we're now using 10% interest. Um, uh, Chairman Powell raised interest rates as 50 basis points. But some of the pundits, some of the prognosticators, some of the big banks are, are, are saying, I can't believe it, there's going to be eight additional hikes. Well, even if the hikes are only 
that's four points. And you'll be starting to use in your modeling, to, to the extent that you use modeling, and I don't, uh, you'll be using, you know, 12, 13, 14%. But the model still works. You know, we're te I'm a testament to that. And uh, remember, cr no cross collateralization, et cetera, and all the things that we, uh, we talked about, and I'll get my drink to toast you all, uh, before we give out the uh, uh, certificates. The, um, and I've said for years, you know, I want you to go out there and uh, rip their head off and shit down their neck. And I've already done the metaphor that it's hard to get the shit down their neck when you've got to lean forward so you can shoot it down the cavity. So I'm not going to go through that. But I mean, guys, gals, this is our world. To ripping their fucking heads off and shitting down their neck. Cheers. 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 Well, guys and gals, I mean, um, uh, early this morning for some of you and later in the morning tomorrow is the first day of the rest of the next segment of your life. Uh, and the, uh, based on history, not just because we're up 125%, I fully expect that we're going to double that this year uh, with uh, a lot more deals. And with a lot more deals, selfishly, I uh, get a lot more numbers. And, uh, and, uh, and that's how I want to see you, but more importantly, a lot more numbers are going to change your lives. A couple of lives have already been changed in here. You've heard them. Uh, the, uh, it's not like I'm paying them. The, uh, the next year, uh, we're going to uh, charge for the pictures. We're going to, try, we're going to add some uh, bells and whistles onto the model, like uh, some of my uh, contemporaries, they're not my uh, competi competitors, but my contemporaries that charge every time you turn around. But seriously, the, um, I, I can't imagine uh, how, you, uh, sh how excited you should be to get out there and rip them uh, because it's, just, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't say it enough. I've said it so many times until I'm hoarse, I'm hoarse from screaming about it, but there is no competition. You've heard all these people say, uh, same thing, you know, follow the steps, there's no competition. And uh, uh, to the extreme, and it's not extreme because the way I used to do it, an alley goes to assistants like shit to a goose. If they can't keep up, it gets rid of them. And um, the, uh, in his eight offices, he has about 16 different companies. And uh, I showed you how to go and find uh, the companies that are getting rid of assets. I showed you how to go and find the private equity companies that are getting rid of assets. I showed you how to find uh, even when the private equity company is not public, the banks are public. Uh, so you can uh, trace them, uh, uh, their assets, and mark them to the market. And uh, we're, we're not trying to chase the assets that are going up in value, but a majority of what's under management now is going down in value. So cheers, yeah. enjoy the evening, and uh, uh, don't throw up or shit or piss in my house. <laughs>